recording. So financial fear uh, and, uh, and um, what if I can't survive financially safe? Uh, letting go of financial fear. Um, I mean, I deal with financial fear and stress and worries and beliefs and uh, around uh, financial fear in always the same way, which is if I feel fear around money uh, and or I'm having thoughts around it, my job is only just to clear it as quickly as possible. So if I'm feeling fear, just allow the fear and feel it out until there's no fear there. If I'm suddenly having fear based thoughts around an issue, I'll keep cancelling them or placing them into God's infinite light. I'm praying for a miracle in transcendent. What I found is if I clear the fear through experiencing it, which I hardly ever feel financial fear nowadays, it's more like thoughts can come around the situation. So I just keep cancelling it or handing those thoughts over to God over and over again until it feels like I can't be bothered with it. It's totally clear. There's nothing left of that thought. I can't even make it fearful. I've always found in my experience that everything is fine. In fact, the most spectacular miracles happen. So recently, for example, and I think many of you will have these stories, like um, I was in fear because my father was selling his property for a huge amount of money. And I had the buyers and solicitors all involved and there's a lot of ways it could go wrong. So I was, I was stuck handing these thoughts, canceling these thoughts for four hours a day. And after a week and a half with no response from the buyers, they suddenly said, yep, that's fine. And they handed over the money pretty quickly. And the sale went through and it was like, as I cleared that fear, it's my, my intuition on it was it was clearing, uh, uh, Dr. Hugh Lent says, it was clearing the buyers and the solicitors and my own fears around it, and money issues around it. And when there was enough clearing done, it's like everyone sort of, it just the, the sale went through effortlessly. So um, it's always to transcend. If there's difficult decisions, uh, that need to be made around situations which you know is it the correct job or what or or am i in the correct situation around work or whatever it is for me again um it's just again clearing and praying for guidance and when there's enough fear cleared and enough negative thinking cleared uh and all me mentors as well sponsors to get guidance and the right decision will, will come but sometimes for me the spiritual lesson is the universe doesn't let you off the hook until you let go and, and have done the spiritual work because it a bit like in 12 steps you know until you're surrendered you know there's unmanageability and when you surrender things become manageable so i'll stop there on the